hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we will delve into a crucial topic in spinal health that is the anatomy of intervertebral disc and the common issue of disc prolapse so let's see first the intervertebral disc anatomy let's start with understanding what intervertebral discs are these are cushion like structures located between vertebrae in our spine each disc consists of tough outer layer that is termed as annulus fibrosus which is a fibrocartilage and in the central core there is a gel like substance which is termed as nucleus pulposus so by and large it is made up of outer annulus fibrosus and inner nucleus pulposus now what is the function this disc serves as shock absorbers they allow flexibility and movement while maintain stability in the spine overall the shape of the disc as well as the body of vertebrae will determine the curvatures of the spine now let's see what are causes and symptoms of disc prolapse causes can range from age related wear and tear particularly wear and tear of the annulus fibrosus or it can be injury injury while lifting weight or it can be secondary to poor posture prolonged poor posture will lead to degeneration of a particular part of the annulus fibrosus and that becomes weak so what are the symptoms the disc prolapse can manifest with symptoms like uh, back pain numbness tingling or weakness in the limbs so it is very essential to recognize these signs for early intervention now what is the mechanism of disc prolapse it's very simple when the outer fibrous layer annulus fibrosus weakens or tears apart because of uh, injury or uh, degenerative changes because of aging the inner gel like substance nucleus pulposus will protrude and this is the disc prolapse or herniation so this herniation will compress upon the adjacent soft tissues particularly the nerves and this will lead to the signs and symptoms so how to diagnose the disc prolapse if you suspect disc prolapse consulting a healthcare professional is very crucial and they may use imaging techniques like mri or ct scans to diagnose the condition now what are treatment modalities the treatment can range from conservative approaches like uh, taking rest to do some physical therapy or in severe cases to do some advanced interventions such as surgery so by and large it depends upon the severity and individual circumstances now it's very difficult to come out of the disc prolapse it's better to prevent it so how to prevent to prevent disc prolapse we need to maintain a healthy spine and to reduce the risk of disc prolapse we need to incorporate good posture practices we need to do regular exercises and we need to take some ergonomic considerations in daily activities particularly the people who are lifting weights particularly the people who are doing some strenuous or laborious activities they need to take care of the posture they need to know what is good posture technique and this is how we can prevent the disc prolapse this is how we can reduce the risk of early degenerative changes in annulus fibrosus so that's it thank you for joining with us today in this channel if you found this video informative don't forget to like share and subscribe for more content on health and well-being meanwhile take care of your spine and we'll see you in next video bye bye